This is cricket again. To buy add-ons like data, international dialing, or mobile hotspots, press 2. For voicemail or to change... Sure, I'll get one of our best folks just a sec. Yeah, oh, you do the, way, that. the lawyers wanted me to tell you that your call might be monitored or recorded. Hi, welcome to Cricket Nation. My name is Joy. How can I help you today? Hello, Joy. You know, I r had to ride my bike a few miles to get to a cricket store in Davenport, Iowa, which is located at 422 East Locust Street. And I told them about this problem I'm having where my calls are going right into my answering machine. And this is messing me up. So they refreshed my phone and they told me they wouldn't do anything else. And you know, they called me up and my phone rang several times and I thought this problem was taken care of, but obviously it isn't. Now somebody is so somebody's going to have to give me an explanation of why this is happening. Okay, so um, if I get it correctly, your problem is that um, your calls are directing to your voicemail, correct? Yes. Now, okay, so to help you with that, sir, can I have your name? My name is Jeff Silberoff. You. You're welcome. Jeff? Yes. So, um, is a rep in the store try to uh, check if your voicemail is set up? Yeah, my voicemail's set up. I got a voicemail. Okay, so... I but that's beside the point. You look, whether I get voicemails or not is beside the point. I'm a musician. And when somebody calls me, that means that somebody else couldn't show up for work. And if they can't get me immediately, they will get somebody else because they need somebody to play in their club now. Okay, um, I do understand your situation. Um, I will uh, do my best here in my end to help you with that, okay? Okay, just give me uh, a minute or two, uh, and I will go into search here in my system. Um, what are the ways that we can do to resolve that issue? Okay. Well, you know, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. You know, you guys gave me. Wait a minute, you guys gave me a code four days before I made the trip to uh, this uh, cricket store, mm -hmm. and you gave me a code I'm supposed to punch in. But my speed is so low. You know, you're not supposed to lower my speed down below 128 kilobytes per second when my uh, high speed is gone. You're not supposed to do that. This is why I am suing you. And because I'm going to sue you, you guys are making it so that I can't work? This was taken care of yesterday afternoon. Now, do I have to get on my bicycle and make a three-mile round trip every day so that I can answer my phone? Okay, I don't okay, think uh, that's well, going to work out. Again, I do apologize about this. Your apology does apologize. not feed the kitty. Your apology is after a year of this kind of service. Your apology doesn't mean a damn thing. I want this fixed, and I want it fixed permanently. I want it fixed yes. now. Yes, Jeff, that's why I'm asking you to give me a minute or two so that I can... Um, we've already had, we've already been working on these problems for a year. Your minute is up. 
damn, this is just continually aggravating. Continuously. You're cheating me on my data speed because you're not supposed to lower my data speed down past 128 kilobytes per second. Actually, Jeff, um, upon checking here in your account, you are using a $30 plan, right? That's hey, hey, hey. The, reason, the reason my attorney is going to sue you is because he's read your terms and conditions. That 128 kilobytes per second is supposed to happen when I am out of high speed. That's the way your contract reads, at least when you're in America and you're reading it in English. You're not supposed to give me a half of a kilobyte of speed. What do you mean? Is it okay? What I, I've already spent, I have already spent six minutes on the phone with you. Now, when I work in a recording studio, I get five hundred dollars an hour, and I do not charge by the partial hour. This seven minutes has cost you five hundred dollars, because that's what I'm going to get in court for every hour of every recording that I have made talking to you. My attorney assures me of this. This is my time you're taking up. I have to call you guys two or three times a week. I have had to call you two or three times a week for a year. I mean, I appreciate the money I'm going to get, but I don't appreciate the aggravation, and I'd rather not be doing this. So, yeah, I want you to fix it right now. Yes, Jeff, I will go in to help you with that. Just give me a minute, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you so much. Jesus. You know, this is not a setting in my phone that I change. This is a setting that gets changed on their remote computer. This is not something I can fix. This is something that you're doing to me. Every, every, and no matter what phone I've had, actually, when I was using my own phone with the hotspot in it, which they wouldn't let me use before, I didn't have any of these problems when I was using the phone that I got somewhere else. But every phone that I've gotten from these guys, apparently they can get into it and they can mess with it.
Hello? Yes. Uh, just, uh, please just stay on the line, Jeff, okay? I'm just, re I'm just reading all the notes here in your account right now about the problem that you are experiencing so that I know what to do here in my end to help you with your uh, issue, okay? Okay, now I know that this call, I have an appointment in a University of Iowa hospital clinic tomorrow. These people were trying to get a hold of me. Now, I haven't called them back yet. And I want to call them back as soon as I can, but I thought wow. that I would inform you that this is happening. Now, yesterday, when they refreshed my phone, they told me that you can't, there's a certain way you have to refresh a phone, or it doesn't take. Do you know what that way is? in the stories to refresh your connection here in our system okay they actually um reset your network yes and when they would do a reset what do i what am i supposed to do with my phone hi uh, you're supposed to turn it off so that um that refresh that refreshing will work so well off, if i just turn if i just turn it off it won't work. What you have yeah, to do, um, you have to take the battery out to get to the SIM card, and then you have to take the SIM card out, don't you? Um, actually, you don't have... You don't well, you know, I have gone through this process now about this problem with you a few times. And all I did was turn my phone off, and it didn't work. But yesterday, uh, from, from about 4 o'clock in the evening until I was sleeping and I didn't get the call because it went right into my answering machine. It rings once. So that didn't wake me up. So when I woke up, I find I've got a call that I received an hour ago that I didn't get. And, and the thing is, no, that's not what happened. I would woke up, my phone rang once. That's it. And so I checked uh, what it rang from, and it rang from the number of the hospital. Now, I can't call the hospital back on that number because uh, I have to uh, hear the message first. Now, I'm getting a little signal uh, or I did get a little signal, uh, I had it on my phone about how I had a uh, message waiting, but it's not there now. And what I've also noticed is that my messages disappear. So, I don't know what's going on here, but I do know that the people in the store insist that if you don't disassemble your phone, and take out the SIM card, that's not going to work. But I'm, uh, but I don't think that works either because right now, and you know, she called me from the cell phone, uh, from from her, from her phone in the store, and because and she had to do that, she uh, she had to make sure she wasn't on a blocked number because I've had to block some numbers on my phone. But this isn't working out. And I know that this setting where my phone rings and for how long it rings, that is not something that I set on my phone. That is something that's happening in your system. And I'm going to have to assume that since my phone worked once yesterday at 4 o'clock, that somebody got back into your remote computer and decided that I wasn't going to be able to answer my phone anymore because that is a manual setting that you change. And that happens all on your end of the blower. It doesn't happen in my phone. And I know that because I talked to my attorney before I called you. And my attorney has witnesses. 
He's got technical people from uh, a, a different cell phone company who knows how this, uh, how this works. And we also have my technical people who help me at Geek Squad. Now I have a uh, app on my phone that tells me how much speed that I'm getting, how much data speed interchange I'm getting when I'm on the phone. And I'm supposed to get 128 kilobytes per second, not one half of a kilobyte per second. That is what your contract calls for. The guy who explained this, to, and, and to tell you the truth, that's what it says when I read it. I understand it that way, too. But you people started giving me an argument. And you started telling me, well, when your high-speed data is gone, yeah, when it's gone, you throttle me back to 128 kilobytes per second, just like my contract calls for. Of course, I don't have a contract. I'm going, I'm paying as you go. You want to say, well, that's really a no contract account. Well, you know what? When I give you that 30 bucks, I have every right and reason to expect that I'm going to get a minimum of 128 kilobytes per second, and I'm not getting it. Oh, they hung up. They fucking hung up. Just a moment. I'm calling back because I was hung up on. Uh, yes, first of all, I'm under the impression that if the call gets dropped, uh, I'm supposed to get a call back. When I call you and the call gets okay. dropped, well, the thing is, that's how I know I was hung up on. Because I didn't get a call back. Yeah. Okay, well, let me press you. It depends because... So many times, if... No, it depends. You know, we've had... I've been having this problem. I've been having these problems with my phone ever since I began my tenure with your company last year. And if it wasn't one thing, it's another. First of all, you don't honor your contract or your terms and conditions because your terms and conditions as interpreted by my attorney who is filing suit against you, reads that when I am out of my gigabyte of high speed, then I'm supposed to be throttled back to no less than 128 kilobytes per second. Now I have to ha install an app in my phone which tells me what kind of speed I'm getting up and down in your system. And you know what I kind of speed I'm getting? I'm getting less than a kilobyte per second. And that violates your terms and conditions. That is one of the reasons you're being sued. Another one of the reasons you're being sued is because you invite people to bring their own phone 
and I used my the my own phone for three weeks until you decided that you weren't going to let me use my own phone with the hotspot that is in my own phone. So then you sold me a phone that was defective. I now have a second phone from you. I kept the first phone because I wanted to demonstrate to the court that because I and this is something that I found out that really ticks me off. When when somebody has a phone that doesn't work, you guys let them send it back if it doesn't have any blemishes on it. And then you take that phone and you put it back in your warehouse and you give it to some other sucker. And that's the kind of phone I have right now. Okay. No, it's not okay. Because I checked with the phone company that I got this cricket phone from. ZTE. And you know, they're telling me when a phone comes out of the factory and it doesn't work, there's only one thing you can do with it. You can shred it because it can't be fixed. They're not made to be fixed. And instead of shredding a phone, what you do is you send it to some other sucker. Now, the problem I'm having is that apparently somebody keeps resetting your remote computer so that I can't pick up my calls. They go straight into my answering machine. And I can't do my business that way. I have to be able to pick up the phone and talk to people immediately because that is the urgency of my business. I don't have time to wait until my phone wants to tell me I got a message, which can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an entire day in your system. Now, I rode three miles to a cricket store at 422 East Locust. And when I and I got hung up on today because when I go to this store, when they want to reset my phone or refresh my phone, what they're telling me must be done is not only must my phone be turned off, but I have to disassemble it and take the SIM card out. And they did that yesterday and reset my phone. And you know what happened? The thing actually would ring for a phone call for 30 seconds until today when I received a phone call and I'm holding my phone in my hand and I can't even answer the phone because it rings once and then it goes into the answering machine. I can't deal with that. I'm losing jobs because of it. No, it's not an inconvenience. When you lose income, it's a hardship. And it's the kind of a hardship that you're going to pay, be paying me $100 an hour for, for every hour I have taped myself talking to you over the past year, and that is well over 100 hours. I get $500 when I record in recording studios. Do the math. Because my attorney tells me there is no way I'm going to lose this. Your terms and conditions state unequivocally that when I run out of my gigabyte of high speed, I'm supposed to get 128 kilobytes per second, not one half of a kilobyte per second. And there are so many other things that are in this suit. And the major thing about this suit is I've already found 1,500 other people who got the same kind of problems with your service. And so we're going to class action sue you. 
Now, when my attorney asked me when I wanted to file, I told him, how long do I have to file? And he said, three years. And I said, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until we have as many class action victims as we can have on this suit. So far, I've got 1,500. I wonder how many others I'll have in two more years. But I intend to have enough people in this class action suit that it will get some notice in the press. Just like happened with Sprint and Verizon and a couple of other companies that were cheating their customers and triple dipping them. Now, how are we going to fix this problem today so that I don't have to drive three miles I, or ride a bicycle three miles, okay? I'm 66 years old. My car was stolen. So I'm like riding a bicycle and I'm 66 years old and I'm riding it for miles. I don't think that, I don't think that's my job description. How are we going to fix this? The last person who told me they were going to do my best hung up and they didn't call me back. Okay. So let me go into your account. First, may I have your phone number? Let me see what happened. Let me check some information about the calls that you made before. This is the thing that they, this, the number of rings you get is set by the company. It works through their remote computer. And, and, and this only happens if somebody at the company changes it. There is no way on my phone that I can change, uh, that I can make my phone ignore a call and have it go directly into the answering machine. This phone doesn't have that feature. So this is being reset at Cricket, and apparently it's being reset every few hours. And, and this is something they also said at Cricket. Your data speed. And according to Cricket's terms and conditions, you're not supposed to get any less than 128 kilobytes per second because that's the minimum you need to be on the web. Now, they, and, and when they sell you a deal where you're supposed to be on the web, that means you get on the web. And it doesn't have anything to do with your high-speed data because you can still get on the web with 128 kilobytes per second. Now, for the past year, these people tell me at intervals that, oh, no, we can lower you down to anything. But you know what? You can't. They can't because their terms and conditions call for 128 kilobytes per second. If you get less, your digital phone won't work right.
Now, I wasn't talking to you, sir. I was talking to my uh, viewers on YouTube. Yes, the main problem right now is that the calls that you receive, I mean, you are not able to receive any calls, right? I'm receiving calls which are being sent directly to my answering machine. Now, after you make this adjustment, I'm going to ask that you take the time to call me back and see how many times my phone rings. Okay, I'm going to, I mean, I promise to, to call you back. Uh, let me see. About this situation, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Good. But... Here in the system, I have something. Not answering me. Let me check something. Don't, don't worry. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I erased something that was blocking you, the, the incoming calls. Right it's now, right now, uh, what we can do is just to see if I can call you back right now. Yeah. Let me complete some, let me complete some steps here on the system. Mm. Let 
can just complete some, some steps here on the system and then I'm going to call you back at the end of this call, okay? All right. There was something wrong with the system and the calls that was supposed to get into your phone that were not able to do it, as you told me. But Ooh. now... There was something blocking this. Uh, what was blocking it? What was what was doing this? It was a phone call warning. It was a uh, what? Right now I remove it. I remove it. It was like uh, a call for warning. So okay. it means that every call that you are going to receive, they are going to be in the voicemail right away. It's not going to be uh, able to answer this call because it was blocked but now I remove this situation I remove this block that you have in your system excuse me so, right now, now I have I have a block set up in my phone so that I don't take uh, private calls now that doesn't have anything to do with this block that was on my system does it yeah what Excuse me? Yes, yes. Uh, the, the block that you have in your call, in your phone, just doesn't have anything to be... Uh, okay, well, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So the block yeah. was put on my system on your end of the blower. Somebody did that who works with the company. And I'm just wondering why the hell they would do that. You know, I've been complaining about this problem for a few weeks. And this is a problem that your staff caused. Do you know I've lost $180 worth of jobs? I mean, these are just little gigs I do like for like a half an hour or maybe 15 minutes. And I'll do that and get paid a little bit of money for it. But I can't get those kind of jobs if you're blocking my calls and now you've just admitted that somebody in your system has been changing the settings in your remote computer so that my calls go right to my voicemail which is exactly what I've been asking you guys to correct for the better part of a month yeah I got it who is doing that adjustment? Who's doing that? I want a name. I want a name and a department and a way that I can reach that and a way for my attorney to reach that person. Let me see if I have some information about it. I'd appreciate. They're doing this on purpose. They're doing this on purpose. They, you, you see, dear reader, uh, these people cheated me. AT and T cheated me a long time ago for almost fifteen thousand dollars because I arranged with AT and T, of which Cricket is a subsidiary company. I arranged with AT and T to uh, do my long distance at eight cents a minute. And as soon as I made that deal with them, they got on the blower with one of their subsidiary customers, uh, companies, and then that company took over my long distance and they were charging me $4 a minute. And I didn't find out about that for 15 years. I got some of that money back. Apparently AT&T holds a grudge I was able to get some of the money back that they cheated me out of. So now they're having their subsidiary company Cricket make it impossible for me to use my phone. And they've been doing this for a year. You don't hear me? I'm here 
working on the system to look at the information that you asked me. Yes. So who made this process? Yeah, who did it? Yeah. Yeah, let me see, let me check. Okay, I think that this information, uh, let me see, let me see. Check one more time if I see the information here in the system. Yes, uh, that information, right now I don't have it here on the system, I don't know why, but let's work on your, on your problem. Let me see, right now, do you have another phone number where I can call you? No, absolutely not. Okay. Now, I do know that all the settings in my phone are correct, because I wouldn't be able to make a call if they weren't. I also have received a text from Cricket which has all of the settings that my phone is supposed to have in it uh, to be able to do what I want to do. And all my settings are correct today. The settings on my phone haven't changed, but apparently between four o'clock last night and a little while ago when I received this call that went directly into my answering machine, somebody reset your system. And that somebody works for Cricket. Now, I want to know why they would do such a thing. Now, since you don't have the information to give me, you're going to have to tell me who I can call to get that information. Because it's, going to, it's not going to look good if I have to get that information in court. But by God and by hell or high water, I will be getting that information. And so will, at this time, 1,500 other people. But I expect I'll have a lot more by the time I file this suit. I got two more years to do it. But somebody in cricket is screwing with my feng shui. And I can sue him for that. Somebody intentionally messing with my feng shui calls for punitive damages. That's over and above my actual damages. Now, so far, before last month, uh, you guys had made it so that I couldn't send a text at all and that I couldn't send an SMS picture, which you can do at 128 kilobytes per second, and I know that. I know that for a fact. I've documented it. But you can't do it at one half of a kilobyte per second, which is what my phone was reading, the data transfer amount that I was getting, this morning at 8 o'clock.
okay, I understand completely. Uh, so let's work uh, right now on the calls. And yeah, at the end, I'm going to call you back right now. Okay. So when you finish this call, I'm going to try to call you back. All right. Okay. So I'm going to. Uh, Keep the account open here to see your phone number, and then I'm going to call you back right away. All right. You want me to hang? Do you want me to yeah. hang? Uh, you want me to hang up? Yes. All right. I'll be expecting your call. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see how long it takes him to call back. He's going to call me back right away, and I'm going to see. How many rings it takes before this sucker goes into uh, my answering machine? Watch this. Five will get you ten right into my answering machine. And personally, I think since he's only got to tap ten digits, I would think my phone would have rang at least once by now. This is interesting. I'm going to call you right back, and it's been more than a minute, maybe two minutes now. I had to call my phone company. I'm having trouble with my phone. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, answer your text immediately, but I'm having this trouble with my phone and I have to get it fixed before the business office of this company uh, closes. Well, now I seem to have received a text. Which has my telephone number on it. Then a two and a dollar sign and a D and an 18 zero seven seventeen. That's today's date. And then it has another dollar sign. And a T and a one five and a semicolon. 48, a small case P, another dollar sign, a U, a zero, a dollar sign, a G, a zero, a dollar sign, a V, and a zero. And I still haven't received a call back. Incredible.
This is incredible. Goes right into my answering machine. Well, I've waited five minutes. I'm going to call him back. You do not want to use Cricut. If you'd like to make a quick payment now, press <laughs> one. I'd like to get my money back now, press one. Let's keep going. Just FYI, your current plan is our one gigabyte plan, which expires August 1st. You have a credit balance of zero dollars. Your next bill cycle starts on August 2nd, and you will need to pay thirty dollars for your current rate plan before that time to keep your service active. Let's make this quick and easy. Your choices are payments and auto pay, press one, to buy add-ons like data, international dialing, or mobile hotspots, press two, for voicemail or to change account security. All right, cool features. Need more high-speed data? Add an additional gig of high-speed data to your, sure. I'll get one of our best folks just a sec. Oh, and by the way, the lawyers wanted me to tell you that your call... Remember, one of their best spokes recorded. will just hang up on you. They will not honor their promise. They will not call you back. They will not fix the problem. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Cricket. My name is Anna. How can I help you? Well, this is the third call I've had to make after being hung up on twice. Now, the last representative I talked to told me he understood the problem, which was, uh, for some reason, somebody is playing games with me in your facility, and they are changing the settings on my remote, uh, uh, on my account, so that my calls go directly to my answering machine. Now I can't do I can't have that happen and be uh, r doing what I do to make a living, because when people think that my answering machine is picking up, they're going to think I'm busy, and I'm not going to be able to do what they want me to do then. So they'll call somebody else. And so far, since these problems have started, I have lost over $1,200 in work, which I'm going to get back in the class action suit I'm filing against Cricket. But, you know, I don't... I, I'm not looking for a payday. I'm just wanting to use my phone. Now, the last representative I talked to said that he had done some things that were necessary to do, that someone, and he admitted to me that apparently someone in your system has been blocking my calls and has been setting your system up so that my calls go directly to my answering machine. 
Now, he told me after he had told me to hang up and he was going to call me right back that um, it would be fixed and he would call me to see how many times my phone rang. Well, you know what? He never called me back. And this follows the pattern of nearly every customer service representative I've talked to you for uh, talked to for a year because you guys never call me back almost never now we're gonna have to put a trouble file a trouble ticket on this because I can see that this is not going to be taken care of in any kind of immediate fashion and I'm just gonna have to chalk up the money that I lose in work uh, and and cite that as money you owe me when we all go to court. Hello? So I want you to file the trouble ticket. All right, trouble ticket, sir. Um, just to let you know, we can only file a trouble ticket that is if there is a necessity for that. Yeah, there's a necessity. Okay. I'm losing work. Yesterday, I rode three miles. I rode three miles to your cricket store, which is located at 422 East Locust. And they made a call to you guys. And for some reason, when uh, after they made that call, the woman in the facility called me up from her cell phone and by God, my phone rang multiple times. It was enough time so that I could pick it up. And I thought that my phone was fixed. But apparently sometime between four o'clock Central Standard Time and about two hours ago, because I've been on the phone with you guys for an hour. I know that because I am videotaping this call that I'm having with you. And I've videotaped over a hundred hours worth of calls that I've had with you so that I can document the fact that when I work in a recording studio, I make $500 an hour and you people have taken up over a hundred hours of my time. I'm going to get that money back in court too. My attorney assures me of that. I'm also going to get considerable punitive damages. Now let's file that trouble ticket. Sure, you let me pull up your account first, okay? We have your first and last name. Just a moment. Called yesterday as well, right? This is regarding your data, all right? The speed of your data. So, a while ago, you have mentioned that you were likely to create a top, um, trouble ticket or technical... Amazing! Trouble ticket, right? Amazing! No, what you're creating a trouble ticket for is not my data speed that you're cheating me on. And your terms and conditions prove that combined with the uh, device I have in my phone, I have an app which measures my speed when I'm on my phone. Now, according to your terms and conditions, and my attorney is as old as dirt. He went to college for four years, then he went to law school for four years, then he was a, uh, a uh, assistant district attorney and then he went into private practice and he's a federal attorney. He practices in federal court, which by the way is where these lawsuits go. And he's read your terms and conditions and he's telling me that if I'm not getting 128 kilobytes per second, when my high speed is gone, I'm being cheated because your terms and conditions call for when my high speed is gone, I will get 128 kilobytes per second. That's what it says in simple English. So that part, I don't need to have disputed. Now, right now, this problem has been going on for a month where I can't pick up my phone and I'm losing business because my uh, calls are going into my answering machine. And once my calls go into my answering machine, my clients figure that I'm playing guitar for somebody else and I'm busy. 
because my clients are used to my answering the phone. I don't do business by answering machine. I never keep my clients waiting. But now I do. So we're going to have to file a trouble ticket. It's a necessity. Now, I would advise you that failing to file, refusing to file that trouble ticket will be a clear indication to a federal jury and judge that you have no intention of providing me with any kind of service at all. So let's file the trouble ticket, shall we? Oh, you're kidding. They hung up. They hung up again. They don't want to do this. Well, it's a, um, a min, uh, an hour and four minutes almost. So, I... Thank you for calling Cricket Nation. This is Leo. May I have your name, please? Hello, Leo. My name is Jeff Soberoff, and I need to have a trouble ticket filed. Mm. All right. Um, okay, um, I can definitely work with you on that. Um, may I ask for your phone number? Yes, just a moment. Jeff, uh, how can I help you again? Well, my calls are going directly to my answering machine, and this is losing me work. My clients have a long history with me, and they figure that if my phone is going to the answering machine and going on the first ring, then they're figuring I'm busy and I don't want to be disturbed like I would be playing music for somebody else. But I'm not. What's happening is that the previous, no, actually, not the previous guy, but the next to the previous guy I talked to informs me that somebody in your system is changing the settings in your remote computer or in your equipment, and that is what is making my phone go directly to the answering machine. My phone calls go to the answering machine, and, you know, I rode my bicycle because my car got stolen. I rode my bicycle three miles yesterday to go to your uh, facility at 422 East Locust. By the way, I'd also like to get their telephone number. And, uh, but uh, they uh, apparently got on the computer and talk to uh, your facility or one of them and my right. phone and that corrected my phone until about two hours ago 
when my phone rang and I picked it up to answer the phone and then I found that it, I didn't have a call anymore. It stopped ringing after one call and then 10 minutes later, I get a message. I get a voicemail uh, alert. I don't want my calls going directly to voicemail. Uh, it, I, wrote, I did a six mile round trip yesterday on a bicycle and I've been on the phone with you guys for the better part of two hours and I need to have a trouble ticket filed this problem has to be solved all right I understand okay so frankly uh, as you explained uh, that your uh, calls goes directly to your answering machine well I can check it here, all right? And I can check if there's like a call for... Excuse uh, me. Excuse me. You're going to file a trouble ticket. You're not going to check anything. You're going to file a trouble ticket and then the technician is going to call me. Right? Okay, right. Because uh, I'm checking here. Um, there's a lot of um, transaction was made a while ago. Well, look. Look. None of those transactions bore any fruit. This problem has not been solved for the better part of a month. And you've been losing me work. So let's just forget about the file and file that trouble ticket. Because your last, the last representative I talked to refused to file a trouble ticket. Now, if you guys don't want to file a trouble ticket, that will ex really help my lawsuit because I will take this video into court and I will show the jury in the class action suit that my attorney is going to hatch. And the thing is, I want there to be a lot of people in this class action suit and I've still got two years to file it. But so far, you owe me $500 an hour for every hour I've spent on the phone with you. And I've got over 100 hours worth of these videos I make every time I talk to you. So it would behoove, Cricket, to file a trouble ticket so that I hear from a technician. Unless you want to prove to a jury you have no intention of giving me any service. Because over a year, you haven't given me any service. You haven't helped me with any problem. And you're cheating me on my data usage. And I can prove that. Your own terms and conditions prove it. Yes, I understand that, Jeff. Good, so if you understand, if you understand what I'm saying, let's get to filing that trouble ticket. Yes, okay. Uh, give me a second, okay? Sure. I have never seen a, a phone... You know, these phone companies will screw you. All of these phone companies screw you. Everyone. But since Cricket is a subsidiary of AT&T, a company which cheated me on $1,500 worth of alleged long distance. They had uh, agreed to sell me long distance uses at eight cents a minute. And as soon as I made that deal with them, they turned around to one of their subsidiary companies who charged me four dollars a minute to handle my long distance. I did get some of that money back, but the trouble I'm getting from their subsidiary company now proves that they always hold a grudge and they're sore losers. Now, as you've seen, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, and I'm talking to you as the jury, dear reader, that I have spent the better part of two hours on the phone with these people and they have refused to file a trouble ticket. And that's really the only way they can provide service. 
They don't want to give me service and they won't want to give you service either. When, when, when the recording says FYI, ladies and gentlemen, that's the company telling you, well, fuck you, you idiot. You shouldn't have done business with us in the first place. FYI. So meanwhile, I'm spending my time, my valuable time on this planet that I won't get back, waiting for this guy to file a trouble ticket. And, and five will get you ten that he's going to hang up on me before he does anything because that's what four other people have done so far. Uh, I'll finalize uh, the case for this, okay? Yes. I'll file a ticket, okay? Uh, just give me a minute or two, okay? Uh, sir, can I put you on hold for just a minute? Well, if this call is disconnected, I'm going to be expecting a call back from you in 60 seconds. No problem. Well, you know, there was a problem with the, the, the third guy I talked to today because what he was going to do is he was going to change some settings that are in your system. You know, I can't, I can't choose on this ZTE phone that I have to have my calls go in to my answering machine directly. I can't do that. It doesn't have the facility for that. So this is happening in your system. And what's really going to impress a jury is that for a month, I've been asking you guys not to do this. Now, yesterday, it was fixed for a few hours, but someone in your company decided that you should change it back to an improper setting. You didn't do that with my permission. You did that to cause me to lose business. You are messing with my feng shui. Now, and, and it should not, how many months do you have to call your phone company to have them file a trouble ticket? You know, I was having a problem months ago, way last year, and there was a trouble ticket filed, and I talked to a technician and the problem was taken care of, but only for a little while. And then you refused to file trouble tickets for me until today, because today you're telling me you're filing one. So uh, I, I just tell me as soon as you get that done. Because when these people tell you, you they're gonna file a trouble ticket, if they should tell you to, that you can hang up and they'll take care of it, they won't. As soon as you hang up, there will be no action taken on a trouble ticket. So you got to wait on the phone and you got to get the uh, number of the trouble ticket from them. You have to do that. This is why you should never do business on the internet. 
You know, the, the first page of Cricket's uh, internet website is bring your own phone. You cannot bring your own phone. Not if you expect to use the features that are in it. Because in order for you to use a hotspot, you have to buy a phone from the, uh, from Cricket. So you buy a phone from Cricket, and what they do is they sell phones to people. You know, that's what they do. And sometimes these phones are defective. Now, a cell phone can't be fixed. A cell phone like this ZTE is totally sealed. It is not serviceable. I know this because I called ZTE. After I had spent enough time on the phone to get information from a Cricket employee who told me that my phone had been sold before and it was placed back into the warehouse because it was sent back for another phone because it was defective. You can fully expect to receive a defective phone from Cricket. And you can't bring your own phone if you want to use a hotspot or any other feature in it because they won't let you. Then they'll tell you, well, you got to buy a phone from us. And then they'll sell you a phone that somebody else sent them back because it doesn't work. Yes. All right, I'm still um, creating a uh, ticket for this, okay? Well, I'm here. Okay, so please stay on the line for me, okay? Yeah, I, I'll stay on the line. I'll stay uh, on the line until he um, hangs up. Can I just ask a question? Um, just one question. Um, are those uh, previous representatives uh, try to update your phone to the latest version? Excuse me. Oh, uh, no, I can't receive an update on my phone. Because I'm getting, because my data is only coming to me at a half a kilobyte per second. So an update on my phone is out of the question. It won't work. Okay, and why is it uh, okay. Well, because you don't honor your terms and conditions. Your terms and conditions flatly state in English. There's not even a lot of legalese here. But when I read it, I interpreted it the same way as my attorney interprets it. That when I run out of my gigabyte of high speed, that I'm supposed to get 128 kilobytes per second, which would be enough to do an update with. But I'm not getting 128 kilobytes per second. Yes, but I'm still supposed to get 128 kilobytes per second. You know, high speed. The high speed is different. Yeah, that's good. That's right, and it's a different kind of a thing. But you know, I've had over two dozen representatives tell me, "Well, when you're, when I mean, your representatives seem to think." that you can throttle me back to one half kilobyte per second when your terms and conditions clearly call that the that you can only throttle me back to 128 kilobytes per second. So you've been cheating me. You guys have been cheating me on my data because when I had a hotspot, I had one of your most expensive accounts. But I don't have that anymore because you guys decided that when I'm not using my hotspot, when I'm not using my hotspot, the data that I'm using on my phone is going to be counted against the data that's left on my hotspot, even when I'm not using it. I can prove that also.
like, uh, Jack? Yes. Hello? Yes. Can you have, uh, like, uh, an alternate number? No, why would I have an alternate number? I don't sell drugs. The only people who I know who have two phones are people who sell dope. Why would I have two phones? I'm not even getting proper service out of the one phone that I have. Have you constructed that trouble ticket yet? Yes, I'm finalizing it. Yes, now just a moment, because I'm going to have to get the number off that puppy. Yes. All right, I'm just completing the details, okay, uh, regarding this issue. Um, the calls uh, goes directly to your answering machine, and uh, at one time um, they fixed the issue, and then it came back again. Yeah, within right. yeah within 18 hours, and that within means that some hours. and and you know what from from what I've been able to gather from one of the uh, customer service representatives who I who actually hung up on me is that um, in order for that to have been reversed within 18 hours somebody would have had to do a manual reset at Cricket Yeah, do you have the number of that trouble ticket for me? Uh, not yet. Okay, but after two minutes, I'll give it to you, okay? Well, please don't hang up on me. I'll call you back if the phone, uh, I mean, if the call got I, You know, okay. I've, I've had to call you guys back now four times because nobody who promised me they were going to call me back did. Yes. I mean, and you know, my phone didn't even ring once. And I didn't get a uh, voicemail, so they didn't call me back. Mm. Oh, I see. Yes, I think that's a problem. Okay, uh, I won't put you on hold. I'll just place you on silent mode, okay? That's yeah, that, uh, that might be safer. All right. Yeah, I'll work you in silence, okay? All right.
Well, that's gone. Well, it's a good thing I'm recording this because I can just get the ticket number in the recording and I'll go and find another pen someplace after the call's done. After making a mental uh, yeah. note. Uh, yes? Alright, uh, excuse me, okay. Uh, Alright, uh, for the last time it was fixed for 18 hours and the problem came back again. Yeah, something like that. From 4 o'clock, uh, from 4 o'clock, well, you know, it was all, uh, let's see, that was two hours ago, and it's, uh, three, so, yeah, it was, it, yeah, that lasted about 21 hours, actually. Maybe, I don't know, but, uh, you got the number of that trouble ticket yet? All right, I'm currently uh, dispatching it, and I'm currently uh, waiting for the number here, okay? All right. All right, uh, let me go ahead and do this. Second. Okay. All right, I have the number now. All right. Uh, the number is, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, uh, 170. 170. Seven one eight. Seven four six. Five two nine. Five two nine. Right. And that's a the trouble I, ticket. Yes, that's the uh, case ticket, and I put it in. Uh, and this is and this is the and this then would be the case number. Uh-huh. All right, so I put it on the urgent uh, status. So usually uh, we, uh, our case department, uh, are looking on the case, and it would usually take them uh, five to seven business days. But since it's on urgent status, it would take at least uh, just three to five business days. Three to five days. So I'm not going to be able to do any business for another three to five days. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, because I will get that money in court. I'll get that money. I could use it now, of course, because people got to eat. People got to pay their rent. People got to even pay their phone bill. So I could use that money now. But I'll wait. Now, so far... In order to get a trouble ticket filed, sir, it has taken me one hour, 28 minutes, and 33 seconds. I know that because that's how long this video is. Now, what I'm going to end up doing with this video is I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. You know, I don't, I don't, have, uh, I don't try to do the Internet through you guys anymore because you cheated me on my data, as I had it explained. So right now, I am uh, using my landlord's Wi-Fi. And you know, I can use my landlord's Wi-Fi for one-fourth of the cost that uh, my uh, hotspot account cost me. And, since, and you know, my hotspot account is separate than what I use on my hotspot to run my laptop into the net is different from the data that I use when I'm just using the phone or texting or sending an SMS picture. That is different. But you guys want to reinterpret your terms and conditions as it suits you. And believe me, I've got over a hundred hours of calls with you. I have got uh, a, an innumerable amount of people who give me a different story and condition on every issue. I mean, I have heard dozens of reasons why one issue is happening. But the fact of the matter is the reason why all of my issues are happening 
is because you're cheating me on my data speed. That is what you are doing. I cannot even update my telephone. I am told not, you know, I used to be able to. When I had the phone that I had before I had this uh, ZTE, I had an LG Spree. And I was able to update that phone. But at that time, you weren't giving me only one half of a kilobyte per second. But you can update a telephone on 128 kilobytes per second. You can download anything you want from the Play Store. I can't download anything from the Play Store, including my updates to my phone, to my Cricut phone. I can't update my Cricut phone. I also can't update any of the apps on my phone. Because I'm getting 127 and a half kilobytes less than I'm supposed to be getting. All right, sir. Hello. Yes. Now, now you know what I'm going to do? Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to have to get on my bicycle and do a six-mile round trip because I want my phone to ring. So I'm going to take it back to the facility. Oh, by the way, can you give me the telephone number for the Cricket facility that's located at 422 East Locust Street in Davenport, Iowa? Uh, 422 East, uh, what's that again? East Locust Street in Davenport, Iowa. Yes. I'm sorry, 422 East. Locust, L-O-C-U-S-T, Locust, I believe. Uh, East Locust. All right, uh, what's the city on state? Davenport, Iowa. Davenport, Iowa. Uh, let me go ahead and check that out. Uh, do you have, like, uh, the zip code of that? Uh, the zip code of what? The store? Yeah, uh, the store location. Well, it would either be 52803. I believe it's 52803. And you know, when I go to court, this uh, six mile trip that I'm going to have to make today and the six mile trip that I made yesterday, I don't, like I told you, I don't charge for a piece of an hour when I play in a recording studio. So those bicycle rides are going to cost you 500 bucks a piece. Because this is my time and I shouldn't have to spend it doing this. Where you actually, you travel to the store, you get your problem fixed, and then somebody at Cricket decides, no, we don't want that guy to be able to get his phone calls. Change it back. It's a cricket store. It says cricket on the front of it. Okay. Are you telling me? Are you telling? Okay. Check 52803, 52804, 52802, and 52801. 
I'll bet. I'll right bet they don't. Do you have the phone number? Yeah, 422 East Locust Street, Davenport, Davenport, Iowa, 5280. Yeah, what's the number? It's a 563-888-5304. Okay, thank you. Now... Right, and uh, they're open up until 7 p.m. Yeah, I know, because I was reading that just yesterday afternoon, after I had driven, after I had ridden three miles, and I had to ride three miles back. Yeah, I'm 66 years old. I'm getting too old for this. I appreciate your time. I appreciate having a trouble ticket filed after more than nine months of not being able to have one filed. You could check my file about that. Now, I don't want to receive any crap from the technician. I expect your technician to be cognizant enough with how things work in the phone system to know that nobody is going to sign a, um, a prepaid contract with you or pay you any money if they know that their phone is not going to work. And unless I'm getting 128 kilobytes per second, my phone isn't going to work. That's just the way that it is. And your terms and conditions call for 128 kilobytes per second because that's the minimum speed that I need to use my phone. So, I don't want any hassle. As a matter of fact, as far as I know, because somebody did this yesterday when the, when the, when the uh, person called from the cricket store at 422, that problem was able to be solved instantly, and I don't know why it's not able to be solved right now instantly. Because I was told with the first phone call I made today, which took place at 1 hour and 37 minutes and 57 seconds previous to now, they told me they were going to do. They told me they were going to change the settings because that's on your end of the blower. And as far as I know, the person at 422 called a facility just like yours. But I'll go check that out in just a little while. So like we're all done here filing a trouble ticket? Okay, and this is all ready to go. I certainly hope that I, that I can get this problem solved again tonight. And I really hope that I don't have it again tomorrow. Because then... I'm going to have to call you up, and that'll be at least another $500. But you know what they say, another day, another dollar. Now, I want you guys to get my phone up to speed, and that means that you're going to give me 128 kilobytes per second, and you are going to do it now, period. When I get back, when I get back into my apps and I check my speed on my phone, I'm going to give you enough time to do it. I had better be getting 128 kilobytes per second. Thank you for your time. So, um, just, uh, I hope this issue... You know, I'm not doing this for self-aggrandizement. But these cell phone companies are fucking everyone. And they think they can get away with it, because nobody wants to. Nobody wants to spend five hundred dollars to take them into court. But I use these things. I use these things. I need it. You know. You have. You know. It, for work, for work or for play, it doesn't make any difference. I'm paying the money to use it. This is Dmitry Ivanovich with the naked truth.